Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we are going to test another use case scenario of the Eagle Transporter. And this one is the um, uh, the mothership scenario. So in this scenario the um, we have a vehicle uh, or yes basically it's uh, it's some sort of vehicle or a group of vehicles that they are not um, autonomous so that means that they don't produce any power so they need uh, f uh, fuel they need to refuel now and then and they are attached to a mothership and they can be deployed by a mothership so that's uh, the, the meaning of the mothership is that the mothership is uh, autonomous and uh, let's say the vehicle that is attached to it is not autonomous so in this case the Eagle Transporter is autonomous and the reason why um, it's autonomous is because it can produce energy it can produce power um, with uh, for example with um, um, hydrogen engine so if we uh, have access to um, uh, to ice then uh, we can produce uh, power with the engine so also the the eagle transporter produces um, hydrogen it has hydrogen generators so it could be that um, a, a vehicle that is attached to the motorship um cannot produce uh, hydrogen doesn't have generators and and in this case the eagle transporter will also uh, act as a mothership so and in our particular case of today we are um going to be testing uh, this uh, bad boy that we have here and this is a prox prospect prospecting vehicle uh, so basically it's um, it's a truck that has um, a drill attached to it and a um, ore detector as you can see it also has um, a bunch of uh, containers small containers uh, nine in total and well as you can see we can we have like this uh, little platform here that let us uh, uh, perform like uh, drilling activities and overview drilling activities so this is what we are going to do today so um, uh, we have nearby uh, a small plane where there are some resources there and I want to explore um, what um, what is under the surface there um, as you can see the, 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 the prospector has a battery a single battery uh, but it doesn't have any uh, generator uh, any um, engine or anything that um, let, let that um, allows it to produce power so it cannot recharge itself so let's go and fetch the eagle transporter and let's um let's attach the the prospector vehicle and I think we're all set, right? And there's our vehicle.
We need to switch uh, to the other camera. Oh, that's better. Okay, and there's, um, let's see, I think we are, we are in a good position here, easy does it, soon we will be attached, oops, okay, I think we are, yes, we are not really aligned, I'm not sure how we are, maybe, uh-huh. It seems that we are not we are not entirely aligned to it. Let me see what yes. We are a little bit Okay, let's try it again. It's tricky. Okay, so I think we have to turn on, yes, we have to turn this on, otherwise, oh, <laughs> easy, easy, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, there we go, we did it, now we need to, yes, because otherwise we, we are bringing all this, oops, okay, now, now we are, if you see um, a flashing there, I was a little bit um, worried. That flashing comes from the from a rotating light. I use it as a warning. There we have it. But we are attached. And um, okay, now we just have to. Um, to activate the, the the piston and hopefully this won't break my ship because <laughs> there's a little um, danger here but I think it won't do any harm uh, but there's a, a tricky thing here and this that this uh, drill here this piston yes basically is this rotor the problem here it's the rotor somehow when um, I try to attach it um, without the the piston extended when it merged um, it created like a collision I think it it, it like it um, invoked this uh, clang <laughs> the clang god and it exploded so but I think in this case um, there won't be any harm done because it's already merged is is in the merging the problem okay so now we're going to reverse well that's this is a nice way of um, <laughs> of loading a, a vehicle right to it's like an elevator and there we go so let's turn off the the lights also the, the rotating one I think that's it and the back light as well okay so we are ready and there you have it nothing happened no explosion everything is cool So let's go to the side right away. It looks pretty awesome. <laughs> let's see. Um, where was that plane now? We have to go upwards.
So I think the plane is in that direction. Let's see. Yes, it's just right ahead. Yeah. You remember, I, I, if you have been following the, this um, video, this um, series, you know that um, there's um, a plane ahead between between the base and the refinery we uh, installed. Hopefully we will see it. I think it's right uh, uh, beyond those mountains where the Eagle Transporter Shadow is now um, covering. Like, yes, this is the plane. And here I remember that we had um, some ore. So this is a, a great way uh, to deploy vehicles because, well, it depends uh, how your terrain is, um, how your ter terrain is um, generated. I think it's a it's a random uh, procedural terrain generator, right? and sometimes the moon can be very rough or whatever planet you're in so let's explore this part so if you if you have like uh, you want to deploy uh, a, a vehicle and you don't want to like uh, go through all these um, I don't know um, going around mountains and hills and things this is a very good way to do that you just um, take the Eagle transporter and just deploy your vehicle you see there is already some some ore I can see like the the, the, the um, soil pigmentation there well, I don't know if this is correctly called soil We should. Which camera are we? You know, we should use the other camera to see. Yes, this is better. So it seems that we are a little bit. Okay, there. So now we just have to turn this off. there we go oops we're somehow stuck ah there ah no everything is fine okay so we deliver the, the vehicle now And now we should um, let's just um, land uh, beside our or vehicle. There we go.
touchdown. So let's see. Hopefully everything is fine. Okay, we are in a weird position here. There. That's a good position now. Okay, so there we are. We have the Eagle Transporter and the um, prospecting vehicle here or truck. And what is that here? Oh, okay. This is our light. Something strange happened. This is really strange. It's it looks uh, like a bug, right? Because I cannot even interact with this. This is our or um Yeah, it it just um it just broke the the, the rotating light. <laughs> that's very curious. That's that's a bug right there. Okay, we found a bug. Okay, so here is our vehicle now. Um, yeah, I think the the battery is not entirely charged. Ah, it was drawing energy from, of course, from the Eagle transporter. Let's see how it's, our energy is. Okay not a big deal okay but i think this is enough energy just to 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 go around um yeah okay so ah, i was going to show you this it's just that uh, that particle there got my eye and yeah we have like this nice um ladder here to hop into our vehicle oh what happened it automatically activated the pack, the jetpack. Okay, so there we are. And as we can see here that there are some, some ore there. So we are going to activate our, our battery. and here we go so yeah we have magnesium and silicon nickel as well so let's take it for a spin shall we it's a big truck right and well there's something in space engineers that for this big grid i wanted to use a big grid in the first place not a small grid uh, because i wanted like this uh, really big um the the the, the big ore detector because it has uh, more range right i like to use the the big ore uh, detector for for prospecting so I wanted to use a big grid for the vehicle and also um, yeah in general to to, to have like uh, to 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 see how how much how big I, I could make a vehicle to, to be transported by the Eagle transporter and one um, one thing is that you have like these wheel sizes, right? And you have the one by one wheel size, and then it goes to the three by three, and then five by five. And this, of course, this makes sense because they are all um, odd numbers, right? Because if you if if you are if your wheels are um, the radius is some it's um it's, it's a fixed unit 
like uh, you are not taking decimals like it's either one two three or four or, and so on you will pick um, uh, odd numbers because then you can center you ha the, the wheel then um, you can you can center it in one of the of the grid blocks and I think they did it like that and then it jumps from one to three but the difference is really it's huge like the 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 one by one um, wheels are puny are really puny and then the <laughs> the three by three are these huge wheels okay this terrain is um, a little bit um, not so easy oh what is going on I'm falling somewhere it fell somewhere but I don't know what is it doing what is it doing it, it went flying or what or maybe oops okay I don't know what's going on I it's a terrain feature what okay yeah something weird there okay so let's try we can try the drill now but it's really it's not as as flat as i remember it it's very irregular this terrain well yes we should go again we should um, go back again to where the eel transporter is so i have to turn go backwards and then to the left and we should um yeah let's find out wow there's a lot of dust all around okay it's very dangerous <laughs> in general i'm a bit lost here it's um dangerous like to to lose control of the vehicle and have it flipped ah look well i must it's a very uneven terrain and you can get lost um easily so we have to go right through those craters right there okay so let's go we should go um through those two craters straight and one thing is that you you um don't want to pick up too much speed because then the, you are not able to control the vehicle You're okay but we are I think we are almost out of the woods easy does it okay it seems like a flat terrain but you see that there's a lot of irregularities and this is what I say that it makes sense to to have the eagle transporter to just um, transport your ve vehicle to where you want to make the prospecting or whatever you want to do let's see now we need to to see what what do we want to i think the closest thing here is the silicon yes let's let's try to get some silicon there's their size but this is from some meteorite I guess so now we are getting farther away I think that's the closest. 
let's stop here there there is nickel and uh, silicon so one thing is that we will um we will deploy the the drill so let's do that So as you can see it it will um it will unfold this is what we are doing now so i think the the best thing is just to um to activate the drill and just let it, it because it will unfold completely the, the rotors and things and when i think when we we think that it's hitting the ground somehow we just uh, let it continue but let's turn it on what what was it okay there we go and there we go it's just making a hole there ah and something was broken ah the lights what okay oops So from here you can always um, check what's going on. <laughs> Something was broken there. Um, I think it's the backlight for some reason. It's okay, there we go. So it's not 100% um, uh, deployed, the, the um, drill, but we are in a, in a not so good position here. I have also a camera that lets me, it lets me see what's going on um, just underneath this one. And I think if we uh, release the, the the wheels, there it starts moving. Ah, uh, I wait, wait. I think let's turn it off because I think probably we are already we already reached the the ore. Let's see if we reach the ore. Oh, it's in such a bad position now. I cannot go through there. Okay, let's see. No, still, still it will go a long way. But there's a problem here. Probably we, we have to make space for the for the piston right because the piston currently this part doesn't have space to to go down um so probably what we want to do is to retract the 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 drill and make some more space or even i know what i'm going to do i'm i will help a little bit the drill so we can just um we don't have to move anything let's help it because once this uh, um, section is through then we don't have to move it anymore because then the the piston ah no yes the piston is the one yeah this is the the bad thing about it like the piston is not entirely aligned with the drill so we are like we have always to help it or we have to move somehow be able to move the the drill and these pistons are huge so you have to think really you have to plan your design
before placing more uh, more drills okay but here we we help it a little bit maybe i don't know yes there's something that is not very good about this design you see the problem here right like the the drill is not aligned with the piston so the piston will always need some help to to go through because there's there is um the drill is not making space for the for the piston okay but let's now activate the drill and uh, you see I'm and, and I'm getting short of hydrogen okay so you see there What's going on? I need some hydrogen fuel. Need to return to the Eagle transporter. And um, what I will do now is that I will extend the piston the drill piston let's see what's going on there it reaches um, a point where it um, it cannot go further down, and it starts lifting the the vehicle. What happens if we try? We can try to go forward. We're going a little bit forward. Yeah, but I'm afraid. And now down again. Okay, let's stop. And still there's a way way to go, right? For the for the silicon to reach the silicon. Yeah, unless we we help it, it will you will continue to um, yeah it 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 won't it cannot go um, a lot further than this because it's you see here like the the piston is making contact with this part of the the terrain and it and it cannot continue. Okay, so I wonder how much. Um, stone do we have oops what's going on there wow what is it okay ah uh, probably s uh. let's take this probably is this terrain here 
But I heard like a loud rocket. <laughs> oh, that's strange. There. Okay. So, what should we do? We should um, fold now the the pistons. Well, you could... <laughs> you have to be careful not to dig such a hole that you will fall <laughs> in it afterwards. This is always um, uh, a risk. Yeah, a good thing would be like uh, uh, to have like a some sort of pistons that will let the, the drill go sideways. Also, you could have a rotor that will also, I don't know, give another um, degree of uh, liberty. But it's, it's, this design is very, very constrained. In fact, it took me um, a lot of or a, a fair amount of, of thinking this through before I, um, I came up with this design because yeah, there it's it's constrained. It's not to to put all these um, devices here. All these um, what's it called yeah, all this contraption here. It was um, it was difficult because it has to go with the wheels and all this stuff. It's hard. Okay, but then let's um, go back. Ah, by the way, I this is something also I wanted to explain. Um, in this way, in this, um, we're we're currently. If we if we wanted to um, refuel, right, to recharge the battery from the Eagle transporter, it will be uh, difficult because the um, the vehicle is very tall so we would have to lift the the, the vehicle uh, sorry we will have to lift the the eagle transporter and then um, to put it um, um, again um, you will see here you see that it's very tall right well, maybe we could just yeah. It's difficult to to fit the the vehicle in here because it's very tall, right? So and the terrain is not even. So the best way you can do this, if you if you want to like refuel, um, uh, like to to have just the eagle transporter sitting there, and from time on and from time to time. Uh, bring the vehicle to recharge in the Eagle transporter then um, the best is to create a platform and that's what uh, we want to do now let's see if we have there okay so this is what what I did now I um, build like this uh, small um, structure here and you can see that the Eagle transporter is just um, um, li uh, laying in the in the like resting in this um, structure. And you can see that now we have a connection between the the two. We don't need the the merge blocks. We just need the the connector. And here it will be like the recharging position. Now uh, there it's uh, it's recharging, like the Eagle transporter is is recharging the the vehicle. And this is the way um, you would do it. You you would need um, such a structure, like just to if you want to leave the Eagle transporter um, in a in a stationary in, in some place and you will bring your vehicle here to 
uh, recharge. So that's um, that's how you would do it. Um, of course, if you are not like staying for long, this this too much work. It's not it's not worth it. But if you are like um, going planning to to make some um, yeah an extended mission, then probably this makes sense. Oops. I think that's it. So there you, we have it. The Eagle Transporter and uh, and the Prospector Vehicle. Okay guys, so we will leave it here. Uh, this is the use case for a mothership. This is one one instance of a vehicle that you can you can have as a as um yeah as that deployable by the Eagle Transporter. So I think this um, is a good idea to to have uh, like um, um, a land vehicle transported by the Eagle Transporter, so you can go um, go about um, mountains and. I don't know um, chasms and all uh, type of um, geographical features that that uh, are a, an obstacle for a land vehicle, and then you can quickly deploy your um, rover in any place, and then you can service it with a Eagle transporter. So I hope you like the video. Remember that. Um, if you want to um, follow me on Twitter, the, uh, you can do so uh, at CyberSettler. So there we uh, always uh, uh, publish what we are working on or if, if uh, you will keep up to date with the channel and we also post other things as well. So this is CyberSettler signing off.